Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and here's an update on the progress of the home build conical. We've got the legs welded on, and uh, that went fairly easy with the oxyacetylene torch. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the results of some distortion. Um, certainly, this isn't exactly like you go and buy from uh, a retailer for a pricey thing, but for a project that'll come in for about a hundred bucks, um, we're doing pretty well, or or less than that for compared to what you pay for a conical in the uh, store. We got here our malt basket. It's got uh, the lid from this top welded on here. Again, a little bit of uh, distortion around it, but fits fairly nicely. Quite a bit of peening to even things out. Uh, and then we've got our lids. Because this is a larger diameter pot, I use the base of uh, a five gallon pot for uh, this lid. We've got the two inch and one and a half inch fittings on there. I may end up having to cut a little bit out um, the distortion when it, uh, when I was welding it. It was fairly significant. And I've got a couple wrinkles in there and I just haven't been able to flatten it out. By comparison, this is actually one of the cheap crappy lids that they give, right? That are pretty thin. You can see the flex. I'm tending to like these better now um, because I'm going to be able to clamp them down. I've got 90% of the work done there on flattening it out, but you can see there's still curve in it. I'm going to be able to clamp that down without too much trouble. Now, in terms of clamping, I've got for gasket, well, start with gasket material. I've got some silicon uh, hose, half inch silicon hose that I'm going to try out as a gasket. Um, and we're going to see how that works. Let me end up just cutting a smaller section of it rather than cutting it in half and having it as an O. We'll play around with that. I've got uh, the big section up top, but uh, I don't want to play around with it all yet. Now I've also got these little stainless steel clamps. They're like a cam clamp, spring clamp. They're kind of nice. Um, typical probably what you'd find on a commercial one. But as I'm doing this, I'm tempted to change and make mini clamps. So. I'm going to see if I can machine some small clamps and they might be a little bit easier and save me the hassle of welding a whole bunch of these things on onto there and then making sure the fit and finish is perfect. I might be able to just use the bottom lip and then the lip of the pot lid and use that as two bearing surfaces to, to clamp onto. So I'll proceed with that and see how that works and maybe I'll end up going back to these but uh, uh, I might find a better way to do it. As so often the case when you're prototyping, um, one project just leads to uh, ideas for improving it the next time around. So to see those improvements and to follow this, uh, this project and for other cool things to empower your independence, go to the link in the show notes below to the EnduringTechnologyPress.com website. Thanks. <laughs>